Hey, thanks for tuning back into the channel. This is Vintage and Collectible Stuff, where I collect vintage and collectible stuff like sports cards, the occasional non sports, lead soldiers, and dinky cards, and matchbox as well. And I just went on a big uh, search today on, match, on Facebook Marketplace and the antique mall close to my house, and I did pretty well. I think I spent um, maybe under $100. So let's go through at the goodies I bought. Let's start off with the ones I wrapped up in, in tissue or paper towel because I didn't want them to, anything to happen to them. So the first thing we've got here is a uh, matchbox. We've got a TV service van from England. And there is the back of it. So the price, the sticker price was $7. I think I got this for five though. So missing the antenna or ladder that was on the top, but it has uh, the decals on both sides of it. And the, you know, of course, is losing some paint as they pretty much all do. And uh, yeah, rolls up in the back for the TV crew to come in and out. And there's, you have the first piece, smashing. Uh, let's leave that one to the end. Let's go and unwrap this one. This is really cool. This is called a pipe truck, also from Matchbox. And it's got all eight wheels, four on that side, four on this side. Nice blue windows or blue glass windows. Lots of good paint on this. Uh, not missing any that I can see. Uh, if it is very, very minor, perhaps on the back bumper. It's a pipe truck because it's supposed to carry pipes, probably plastic pipes uh, that came with this. And of course, I don't have any, but that's okay. It's a great looking piece. It was $12. I got it for about 10. Uh, yeah, like that one very much. The next one is a nice uh, Berkeley, it's a caravan they call it, Cavalier. I'm just gonna focus in on that for a second. Number 23, is, this is the blue version. Um, so got lots of good paint on it still. It's got the two wheels. It's got a little bit of the sticker on the front. Uh, and it is missing a broken uh, hutch or hitch at the front, which is too bad, but I think this is a great piece. Um, you know, for the price I got this for, you wouldn't believe, I'm not even gonna tell you how cheap I got the rest of these cars, uh, apart from one. One I did pay a little bit more. So let's get to the uh, other wrapped up item here. It's not a car, and it is a lead soldier. So there it is. Uh, Picked it up because I hadn't seen this type before. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. It has to do with the base of it. I don't think I've ever came across a base this shape before. And I looked pretty hard online. Um, pretty sure it's not a Manoil or Barkley lead soldier. I think it's the very first iron gray that I've come across. And uh, $10 was the sticker price, but I got it for cheaper than that. And uh, it looks like it's a marching band leader with the uh, marching stick or rod that it has there. And I went and looked and it's not broken. I think that, I'm 95% sure that that's the height it was supposed to be. So it's not like missing a piece on the, on the end. Uh, so nice little piece. Happy to get my first iron gray. What else? Uh, let's finish off with the match box. So we've got the 1969 Mercury in the gray color with the two pups in the back. Uh, so this is the first version because the first 1969 version came with these wheels. And then after 1969, they came out with a different type of wheel. Unfortunately, it is missing a fourth wheel. So can't get a lot of value out of it, but I didn't pay very much for it, so that's good. Um, we've got here, a must is that a Mustang? It's a Mustang. I just washed it a little bit, so it's still drying off. It's um, number eight Mustang, red in color. So that's what this looks like. It is miss it's not missing a wheel, but it has a broken wheel right there. So that's a little bit too bad, but I mean, it could be restored. And the axles are a bit bent here on the front wheels, but still very nice collectible. Get that all dried off. We've got the Renault Ta uh, Le Car, it's called. On the side here it says Le Car. Uh, it has the hutchback 
uh, the boot that opens up like so. So that was nice and neat to have the boot that works. And the wheels are fine. It's uh, super fast, I believe, from 1980. I like this one. I think I've sold one of these before. This is the uh, Dambler Bus. I try and think of the year this came out. It might be 1959. Don't hold me to that. On the bottom, we're going to zoom in. It's uh, number... Oh, can I read it now? It's number 74. Dambler Bus. So what's great about this is the decals on the, both sides are still there. I mean, it's missing a little piece in the corner. But other than that, you know, it's pretty nice with the decals. It's got, you know, some patina, uh, some wear to it, which actually, you know, makes it look even uh, more vintage. But nice piece nonetheless. Nice piece. I like that. I like that very much. And then we've got two of the Chevrolet Impala taxis. The one on the right I got very cheap. The one on the left I did pay a bit more because it's in better condition. Uh, having a closer look at it is it's the colors. I didn't actually notice that the colors were different. So one's a bit more brighter yellow versus like the dollar sort of tan color yellow but also the interior here is red and the interior in this one is white. So I did look it up to see which one's older or more rare. And now that I'm doing the video, I can't quite remember. So um, anyways, one I should get a few more bucks for than the other. So that's kind of cool to get two versions of the uh, Matchbox Chevrolet Impala Taxis. All right, almost finished. Came across one Tootsie toy, and that's this Howitzer. And I didn't actually know that Tootsie Toy made toy uh, cannons like this. But on the back, you'll see, it actually is a Tootsie Toy made in the US of A. It's got number two on there. Uh, I'll have to look that up. Is that like version two or, or whatnot? But the Horwitzer is uh, all there. Just, of course, the typical paint loss. But it's got the two wheels. It's got most of the paint, just not all of it. I would say it's like... 70% covered in paint. So a nice little piece I picked up for maybe a dollar. Then I got some Hot Wheels. Uh, let's bring them all over. Not The first one's in good shape. This one here, it's like a road, I think it's called a road beast or something. Um, it's a convertible, obviously, white and teal with something on the hood there. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. It doesn't say a whole lot on the bottom, except it was made in Malaysia, 1990. Some sort of road beast convertible. So I like, like the front of that. That's really neat. So definitely in very good shape. The next three, though, are not. So I'm going to probably end up putting these all in like one lot together. So the first one's probably the best. It is, oh, am I going to remember it now? Probably not. Hot Wheels 1974. Um, gosh, it's not a Mustang, I don't think. But it's got the hood scoop on the front. It's got the spoiler on the back. Yep, paint's coming off of it. It's not so good. This is supposed to be a 57 Chevy, as it says in the back. This is made in 1974. Again, Mattel, Hot Wheels, um, losing some paint. And then this guy, I didn't know this was probably repainted by some kid because I was cleaning it up and some of the black was coming off. So I, I stopped. It's a Jaguar. Jaguar XJS from 1977. So I'm going to probably just lot these three up together because they're not in great shape. But, you know, if somebody want to repaint them, they can go ahead and do that. It's got all the wheels. Uh, the, wind, the, wind, the windscreens are not cracked. So, all right, now for the baseball cards to end off. And I've got this huge stack here. We're not too huge, but it's from 1979 OPG. Uh, it does not have the Ricky Henderson, unfortunately, but I got this stack for $5. So it's got a few Hall of Famers. It's got Rod Carew. It's got Jim Palmer. 
Fergie Jenkins, and Gary Carter. Gary Carter, that's the last one. So for $5, it's probably a third or a quarter of the small set. I mean, there's like under 400 cards in this set, so it's not very difficult to put together. You're not searching for six or seven or 800 cards. So that's pretty good. And the last. So along with that $5 pile of cards, I also then spent $20, Canadian, don't forget, on a Derek Jeter rookie card. So happy to get that. I've got like five or six of these now. I don't know, I think for $20 or, or lower, it, they're worth the pick up. So it's about $15 American. Probably what you'd pay at a card show, maybe you get it for 10. I don't think you'd get it for less than 10. And then last but not least, uh, for my 1975 set I'm working on, I picked up a George Brett rookie card from Tops. So I paid $50 Canadian for this. And you might think, well, that's a pretty good steal. And on the surface, it is a steal because, you know, the corners are dinged. It's, but it's centered pretty nice left to right. It's not perfect, but it's, it's, I don't know, 60, 40, 70, 30, maybe. And the bottom has got, you know, some edging problems, but, and it's centered top to bottom. I'm just going to zoom out a little tiny bit. I don't see any surface problems with it. Uh, no, no uh, scratches, no creases that I can see. I haven't taken it out of the top loader yet though. Uh, but the reason why I got this for $50 Canadian, which is under 40 US is because somebody went ahead and wrote their name on the back. Matt, Matthew, why did you go ahead and do that? You probably didn't know any better back in 1875 or 76 when you had this, that's okay. Uh, this is going to go into my, like I said, I'm putting this set together. So I need a, I need a card number 228, George Brett. So it looks great in the front. Um, if it's just to fill a set out, it's probably not a big problem. Not a big problem for me anyways. I'm going to put it in there. So yeah. So that's my haul from this Easter Sunday. And uh, quite happy that cost me under $100 Canadian, 75 US for all these. I think I did all right. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, keep hunting. Bye.